Welcome to the channel guys. We're going to try to get as much done today as we can. I'm not even going to name the list, but I'll tell you where I'm going to start. <coughs> I'm going to get them water spigots hooked up so that I can get this water run into there. And then I got to wire up the electric for the dryer. But I wanted to show you last night, everybody's been wondering about the rat. <coughs> well, I hadn't heard a lot of them, but last night I heard them in this wall here. And I come around the corner just as I come around the corner, I flipped the light switch there. This is the old laundry room, by the way. And he poked his head right out that little square that I cut out to feed that wire. So, that tape you see, I have taped a glue board where I know he comes and climbs to get out. But right above that, there is a rat trap with some tasty peanut butter on there because the hot dog on that one didn't work. That rat trap I bought at the grocery store, it broke as soon as I set it. But that one there is a big heavy duty one I got from the feed store and that will get him. Uh, he has tripped that one off a few times, but it's not strong enough to catch him. And it's probably that same rat I saw the first time, pack rat. Ain't no telling, I hear him shuffling in there. Ain't no telling what's down in that wall. Or if that's even, I just can't figure out where he's coming in. Because the food, he's not getting into my food. He's not getting in the rooster's food or any of the dog food. So I, he's got to be getting out. But I don't know. They can eat anything. So we're going to give this a few days. Or I probably have him by the end of the day, I hope. If he, this is the second time I've seen him in this room. So he, this has to be an entrance point. I don't see anything in here. And... There's two by fours there, so there's got to be a, an alleyway or something down in that wall. I'll tear that whole wall out if I have to. I don't want to. I should get them on them traps. All right, man. Let me get busy. <sighs> Dumb me. I'm in here where he's living. And I just told him where the traps are and that there's traps. Ain't going to catch him now. Thanks, guys. Okay. I bought a junction box. I'm going to put it up about right there. I got to get this done because next Thursday, a week from today, it's going to be nine degrees as a low. So I got to get all this insulation put up. I got to insulate it better. That door, I'm going to take a piece of that uh, foam board and I'm going to cut that door. I'm going to put a piece of that on each side of that foam board, but I'm going to cut it to where it, and that will add weight because the, the, Floor mat that I was going to use for that is in my other truck, which is still in the shop. I ain't driving to town to get it. But I think that foam board would be just right. And it'll. I'm going to make it tighter so it won't be blowing like that. I'm going to weight it down on the bottom with a piece of steel or something. Should work fine. But right now, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut them 2 by 4s and get the spigots put on. Should not take long at all. Putting one there, putting one there. And then I'm going to get some 2 by 4s cut, get them back here, brace this in real nice, and run the electrical. And I may just go ahead and, I am just going to go ahead and move these in here. Yeah, I can, it's got the feet that you can level them with. It's fine for now. And then when I go to put the sheetrock on, it ain't nothing to move those things. All right, man, let's go. I got to get busy. It's late. Sometimes they go right over my house. And the fighter jets do it too. They scare the liver out of me. Probably one more coming. Sometimes one staggered over this way. I don't know. Man, all I know is I've been looking for a daggum square for 15 minutes. I got two of them. Can't find them. <laughs> Story of my life. All right, we got these in place. That one there, and that one's a little lower. I wanted this one higher because why not? I don't want to have to reach way down and do my garden hose. So what we have is this. And I'm going to run this pex over to here and uh, have one elbow to push into this. I'm going to make it a little bit longer so I can push this through to the outside, clip this, and then push it back, and then hit the two screws and put it into place. Well, actually 
that way. And uh, it shouldn't take me but a few minutes. I'll be back. Waldo, what do you think? You think we got it right? All right, guys, I already got this one hooked up. It's hooked up on the outside. That'll go down even when I clamp it. Now I'm gonna take you with me outside. I've already got this one plumbed, going to the outside. Let that go through the wall. Uh, let's go outside and hook it up. All right, guys, these are very simple to do. And you don't want to hook this up inside before you hook this because then you won't have no way to push this in. Okay, you see that? That white part, that has to go in between. And you just simply snap it on. And it cannot come back out. All right, we're going to go ahead and feed it through the hole there. Make sure that part is down. Let me run over here and get my drill. And simply screw this in. Now that's why I put the 2x4 back there. So otherwise it wouldn't have anything to screw to. Alright, that looks pretty level. Y'all can see that. Now the only thing I'm worried about is when I put an awning or something in front of this, I gotta make sure I can get to this. Too late now. And a spigot and that's actually very strong probably not the ideal screws but that's what I got there we have it all right I made him a better door and this one's still temporary till I get the other one in but it's that one inch foam and I also put this piece around it so I am just gonna hang it about there oh, I'll make sure it'll swing for him oh yeah and it's got a little weight so it ain't gonna flap in the breeze like that other one Held. I'm gonna need to shorten it a little more. So I'm gonna go cut off the bottom. That's the way the day is going, man. Measurements aren't working, nothing's working. Too much new. Alright, let's try this one out. I think if I go the other way. Ah. Yeah. That will work better. In. Two and go across that. Come here, Waldo. Come on, Waldo. Come on, boy. Come on. Oh, can you go back out? Yeah, hey, you like that? Oh. Yeah. Oh. No, I'm not oh. writing Waldo oh. on my door. Oh. Come here, Lily. Oh. Yeah, oh. Well, it works for Big oh. Lily. And if you can go in, you can go back out. Oh, yeah. oh. No, we're not doing crush bell with trouble oh. 70. Oh. No, get off that kick. Oh. Oh. We're not doing it. Oh. Oh. All right, man. Let's go see what the hell we can get into. <laughs> I'm telling you, oh. it's like everything. 
pain now. It's like everything I try to do today is just I can't find a hammer. I can't find nothing. Alright. When you get the drill wall though, you put this board across so it'll be sturdier. You're going in or out. Mm. See boy, that's all we need. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Wow, goodness gracious. When I hold you there, you don't move, okay? Glad I checked that though. You come up a little. No screws, wrong bit. Uh, I got the bit in my pocket. Hopefully my watch pocket. Yep. It's crazy. Put the bit in, Mike. Put it in there. This is just to help give it more support for that stuff. This stuff's very strong. I mean, that one little flimsy piece has worked all this time. Didn't even have a flaw in it. There you go, guys. What are you thinking them apples? And pears and peaches. All right. That looks, well, I don't know if it looks good. And you can still get air in there, but it's better than what it was. It got to where that one piece was just, if the wind, the wind is crazy today, it would just flop up. It's going to take a lot more to do with that. I can already tell it's going to be better for them. All right. Let's check you guys out. Look at them. I can't be in here doing nothing. Oh, Lily, there's the pex that you're afraid of. Let me move it. You're afraid of this pex. I know, pex is, pex is mean. It's, it's notorious around the world. junction box up here uh, let's see uh, anywhere here is good now these little clamps that go through these junction boxes they were seven dollars a piece so I know I got some of these I did find this one here so I still got to find another one I've got them here at home I'm not paying that that's crazy gonna mount her right there put the screws in your mouth so in, in, in California putting these screws in your mouth give you cancer yeah that's what they say on the box all right right there I need a third hand apparently all right screw stay on there let's see well, let's bring her about right Right there. I forgot about this. This is about two hours later on the video. Of course, that don't fit. Oh, why did I forget screws today? <laughs> All right, well, one's good enough. This thing ain't 
it ain't going nowhere. I'll put another one in later. I'm not gonna hook up the dryer one today, but we'll feed this through. And that's all we're gonna do. Uh, oh. Keep these pants pulled up, man. So I don't, that's a lot of editing when there's crack showing. Crack kills, man. It took me forever yesterday. All right, let's just cut this dude. through a little bit. Well, tomorrow should have all the washer dryer in here and doing a load of laundry because I need it. I ain't going no daggum laundromat. That ain't happening. I'll wash them out in the shower first. Take me too tight because I may have to loosen them. And now all I have to do, and I've got a whole bunch of this wire still in the shed. I'll go get another piece, run it, join it here. Because I didn't have a piece. The reason I'm doing this, I did not have any more wire long enough to go from the service panel to here. So this isn't hurt nothing to do it this way. And I'll run a wire down through the wall and hardwire the dryer like I had it. And I got a cover to go on here. It's fine. Yeah, this sucks. I might build a little box to do so. You guys just, you know, if you're looking at my stuff and going, man, that looks terrible. Just wait till I'm done to the very end. I'll fix it. Everything you're not gonna know. This is pretty podunky. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the video. Uh, like I say, I'm doing up. It may not have got a lot accomplished today, but we got some things done, and I'm doing it as I go and recording the whole process. Happy trails. Oh no, you like that chair, don't you? Yeah, you do. You're wore out from all the dancing we did. Boy, is it windy out there, man. There's a lot of stuff rattling and shaking. Happy trails.